we live? We're live! Oh god. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is Angel from Angel Illustrations, and I am actually live recording this one because I too like to live dangerously. You have to excuse the voice. I picked the worst week in the history of the world to get a head stuffing nose dripping cough laden cold as events in the world sort of hellos Chewie this is Chewie's bum you you know the moment I start talking on the camera these cats jump, jump up on me she's getting so big and she's a little upset because she can't get to a spot on the window so I'll move everything soon uh, so yeah, worst week to get a cold, but what are you doing? Come here, come on. Yeah, I know you want to be a movie star. I know you want to be a movie star. Constant per machine, aren't you? Come on. Ooh. Constant per machine. Go on. Go be with your sister. Distractions aside. So, yeah. But I'm. There, there is a reason that I'm doing all this live. I'm not. I'm not just here to waffle on. Oh, I did enough of that in my last video. I'm here to sort of live review my new favorite art supply for this month until I move on to something new next month. There's a, there's always something new I want to be my favorite. <clears throat> but anyway, a little bit of history. Um, when I was younger, I used to do a lot of chalk and charcoal pastel drawings. That kind of thing. It, it's. I did it way back, ninety four to ninety six. I did a little bit of charcoal in life drawing in university, and that was between ninety seven and two thousand. Yes, I am that old, and I used to really enjoy it. And the tonal ranges that you used to get from it, when you don't know what on earth you're doing, could. You, know, you, you, you never really realised what this could do. Excuse the bells in the background. That's the cats playing. But um, as I progressed as an artist, and as I progressed on my own artistic journey, I sought more control over the works that I created so I wanted to create uh, more precision more controlled more precise works so um, <clears throat> I once once I graduated university I, I have a degree in this never used it but I have it uh, once I finished university I sort of set on a mission of unlearning everything I'd learned over four years and just reinventing myself and to that point the oil paints went away the pastels and charcoals went away and I went over to graphite and that's that it, there's a whole video on it I'll put it in the title card but recently I found that my drawing has gotten too tight I've mentioned it previously so I went back to life drawing and I, I can't loosen up. I, I, I seem to find it myself unable to loosen up on my drawing. And as a result, I started looking at what I could do. And obviously I'm, I'm not opposed to changing art materials. Bit of research, bit of, bit of looking. 
and I found this product via a YouTube artist called Cesar Santos, who is absolutely incredible. I'm not, I'm not going to hide the fact that I utterly admire him. And on the recommendations of his videos, I invested in some Nitram products. Now, Nitram charcoal is very different to the charcoal that I used once upon a time. Um, I used to use what everybody else used, and that was, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the willow charcoal, the thin sticks. I think it was like a pound fifty for ten sticks. They were brittle. You could do crazy things with them, but it was always quite a visceral experience. Um, you'd put the, the work down in big movements, big strokes, and you, you were unable to be that precise until the, the charcoal got to this fine little edge and you could just pick out details that way. So what drew me to these was the fact that they weren't um, the charcoal that I, I knew and remembered. And I was watching more of Cesar Santos videos and I could see that you could sharpen them, hence the sharpening block. They came in different varieties, so you got 2H, HB, 2H, H, HB, B, and a B plus, which in graphite terms, it's sort of a a two or three H, an HB, a two B, and then probably a four B, in in my own comparisons. So the selection I've got are the mix set, the sharpening block, this remarkably deceptive baton where the charcoal sits inside and you can sharpen it up and I started to play with them and what I learned in a very short period of time is they are absolutely fantastic. So the lay down is beautiful. This is just a um, De La Rowney craft sketchbook. But you can get these really nice smooth tones. I think that's the H, and this is the HB, I believe, or the B, I don't know. You can see the difference in colours, in, in tone, it's really, really soft, really good to work with. And, yeah. This thing, though, I absolutely love this thing. Where... You can get this really precise control by using it in a standard pencil way. What I found is you can get almost the same level of control by drawing from the elbow rather than the fingers. And the line weight. I'm, n I'm never worried about pushing too hard and having a million bits of shrapnel charcoal go everywhere. And that really is amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm way out of practice. Anything I do with charcoal... Ooh. Didn't go so well on that one. But then... Does it need to go so well? It's charcoal, you can just do that. Anyway, rambling on, as is my want on recent videos. 
this charcoal yeah, I, I, I really do like it um, it's a French company yeah, I'm, I'm never going to be a master of charcoal I love how it lifts off as well this is a Faber-Castell putty eraser probably needs replacing soon but it lifts off so well so I'm going to show you the sharpening block so it's a two-sided sandpaper god this video is going to be nuts for the ASMR fans but just doing that and a really fine point I mean that, that's mechanical pencil thin which I, I never in my lifetime thought I could get with charcoal the charcoal that I grew up with but I have done some work with it I'm gonna peter out and show you a little video of that in progress while I just yeah it's mesmerizing it's really nice and the other really good thing is you can lay tons of it down sharpens itself and then using the softer grates as you would a pencil just carve out did actually ramble on for quite some time uh, but in your germ filled head swimmy way that's what you've come to expect from me now. Um, I will also apologise. There was a dog barking. He's actually next door's dog. And he hasn't shut up for the last two hours. Their owners are out. So uh, if you pick it up, I do apologise. But anyway, I'm just drawing out uh, from a photo I took of a model called Saffron. Uh, with shots in an old church. And just really playing around with the sticks. Um, using a lot of the harder stick on this point. And a compressed charcoal from, I think it's Faber-Castell. Yeah, a compressed pit charcoal. Just to... My... my whole want was to get black I must go black charcoal doesn't go black charcoal goes to a very very dark grey but I played with that and then I pulled out a piece of Clairefontaine and sketching it out with a regular graphite pencil just just to get proportions and everything I know really yeah Charcoal, you can, as I was saying in the other video, the original start of the video, sorry, was you could carve, you could lay down. Um, I wasn't thinking in that way when I started this, but as the drawing progressed, I did start thinking of it as carving. So you'll see that I started to just lay down slabs of charcoal and carve in and out I'm um, using the stylus there it's quite it's, it's very nice I'm just working on the face the Nitram charcoal is brilliant um, would I use it in my general day to day work? probably not I still like that element of control I still like that precision that a percent, uh, percentile, percentile? Oh my god, I am ill. The precision that a pencil can offer. Um, I do like the control 
And it, it is hard to overwrite. Oh, God. 20 years of working with a pencil. But I do like it. It's a very advanced is probably not the best term, but it's a more professional. There we go. That's, that's possible. A more professional idea of what charcoal can be rather than those little willow sticks that I used to use and that's intriguing for me I mean I, you can do so much with so little and the gradation on the pen on the charcoal is brilliant so yeah this is just a study of saffron um, I quite enjoyed doing it. I'll show some stills of it towards the end of the video. I've finished talking now. This is almost coming up to 20 minutes. So, you know the drill by now. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Buy me a Twix. Don't stockpile toilet roll. It's not very nice. Anyway, take it easy. I'm going to blow my nose now. See ya!